So you want to talk girl stuff. So do any of you suffer from endometriosis as well? It's this disease in which the uterus lining grows on the outside instead of the inside. Very painful. A uh, turn off to most guys. Two in the weeds. Okay, um, girl talk. Violence against women is up. When did you lose your virginity? You know, I hate the concept of virginity because it's a social construct. Like, was I still a virgin after I hooked up with a woman for the first time? Was I still a virgin after I used a tampon for the first time? Was I still a virgin after I let the night shift workers at Papa John's run a train on me? These questions really make you rethink the patriarchy. Do you take birth control? No, I don't because I've heard that birth control can raise your chances of breast cancer by 20% and I just don't want to put my body at risk. But I do have a really good hanger. Sorry, super touchy subject, I know, and people are scared that Roe v. Wade might be overturned. And if it is, I just want to remind people that there's always suicide. We can play double or nothing with the Supreme Court. How do you deal with odors down there? So I legitimately did not know that you were supposed to wash down there until a few years ago. So before I found out, this guy went down on me and then afterwards I was going to kiss him. And he goes, oh, my mouth might taste like fish, by the way. And I was so fucking embarrassed and awkward that I go, oh, I guess you can say I'm the fish to your semen. And this motherfucker goes, or the fish to my vegetarian. And I was like, well, some vegetarians eat fish. And he goes, well, they shouldn't. So yeah, now I scrub down there until I hit bone. Speaking of which, how do you shave down there? I don't, I just wear it in a French braid. How do you know if a girl had the big O? Well, her body will start shaking and she'll probably be moaning a lot and say, oh my God, you're the best I've ever had. And that's when you know she just faked an orgasm. I know guys really hate it when girls do that, but I think we should do it more. I think we should also do it like we're playing BS the card game. Like a few minutes after faking it while we're just cuddling and stuff, we should just be like peanut butter and not tell him what it means. So he's like, what, you said you clean down there. But yeah, mess with his head. Tell him it was fake even if it was real, who gives a shit. Where do you get your lingerie? I don't wear lingerie, I'm not cool enough to pull it off. But once for my birthday, this guy got me some lingerie, his idea of a gift, I guess. So uh, to return the favor, I got him a strap on for his birthday and I don't think he appreciated it very much. How do you deal with jealousy? I am an incredibly jealous person by nature and in my darkest moments, I have gone through a boyfriend's phone. And I actually did find messages with another girl, so I was super pissed off at first. But then I kept reading and I realized my boyfriend had no fucking game. There was nothing worse than seeing your boyfriend tank at trying to cheat. The girl was telling him, oh, you're just not my type, I'm sorry. And I was so fucking embarrassed. If you're gonna lie to me about where you're spending the night, you better be fucking getting some or else I won't be able to look at you the same. But yeah, I have trust issues. How do you maintain body confidence? I don't keep any mirrors in my apartment, so if I wanna look at myself, I'll have to use a spoon. And it's actually pretty hard to look ugly through a spoon, especially if there's soap in it. Ever had a pregnancy scare? No. What is your type? Okay. So imagine Timothy Chalamet's face on Shaq's body with Joaquin Phoenix's hair. Are you imagining him gorgeous, hunky, seven feet tall? Okay, now behind that guy, there's a five foot six dude who watches anime and that's my type. Okay, that's all the big sister advice I can give out for free today, but um, make sure to subscribe.